Lately, we've had a few guest crew members joining us on the Rabid Raccoon, and having given each of them one of our crew uniform jumpsuits when they come aboard, we are now running low on these coveralls. We've also seen a lot of comments asking where you can buy them, so while Cyrus and Araton were sleeping, Marcuccio and me were taking the ship down to Orison to restock. The flight down to Orison is very long in the Corsair, so we will try to make as few of these trips as we can as I'm sure is common for most of the population of Stanton. But this means there is still a sense of novelty to visiting the city in the clouds, and I for one was very enthusiastic about returning. On the deck. So we'd be heading for the shuttle station below the spaceport where we'd make a hop over to the industrial Providence platform. And on the way, even Mark was wondering where this shop is. Is there a little shop here? It's not down at Cousin Crows. No, it isn't Cousin Crows. The store we're heading to is Providence Surplus, and it's actually very close to the shuttle stop. It is, however, slightly tucked out of sight, and maybe this is why so few people are aware of it. So you come off the tram, come up here, and you've got ah. Providence Surplus. Quality here and work here. Okay. So this is like the one we use right there, but there are there are other colours. There is a dark coloured one, right? Like it's got these big stripes on it. Ideally, what would be cool is if it was just a plain grey, but they don't do those, sadly. A plain black would be good as well. I wanted to show Mark the darker coloured jumpsuit as well. Like the front looks kind of decent. You can even see the zip right. more clearly on this one, which is cool. But then the back is kind of like stripes are a bit much. <laughs> It was time for a quick snack in the store and to admire the amazing Orison Vista before we'd be setting off freshly stocked with new uniforms for those wishing to join the crew for an adventure. Our destination was Art Corp, where we'd be offering our services to crime boss Tisha Pachico once more in the hope of being given a particular assignment after rebuilding some rap. Illegal missions and gaining crime stats are usually not much of a bother to us, but when living on a ship like this, trying to minimise risk is a huge consideration. And so the stakes were feeling higher than usual as we landed at Area 18. We'd run missions for Twitch not longer than a few weeks ago, and so we're very conscious that one of the jobs she offers regularly is a simultaneous hit, an assassination of two targets within the span of about six minutes. These targets are usually on different moons, so we had Skunk's Polecat, Razorburn and Troy Havoc in space above Art Corp, ready to assist. Here are the details. But the first job offered was not what we were expecting. It's killing a cop. Okay, I'm gonna accept it. This was an opportunity for the skunks we had in orbit to go kill the blackjack officer while we were in prime position to accept another contract down below. Um, I've got a mission I'm going to share with you now. It's to kill a cop. It's to kill blackjack security. Let me share it with you now. And the wait will give us some time to talk about the ship loadout. So what remind me to rearm the ship is from? The 84Bs were gimbals. Oh my god, yeah, I landed a lot more shots with them and it was much, much easier to keep them on target. Yeah, it's just it's just auto-correcting for what it needs to do. Yeah. Although, half the ammo used for a Connie, uh, that's... Well, yeah, you not know... Not a good sign for handling heavier ships. No, no, but... It looked good. It sounded good. It sounded really good in fact. Do you think Twitch eats at this hot dog stand a lot? Yes. This is like Twitch's exclusive vendor of food and drink. And the stand featured a surprisingly varied menu. Veggie dog, cruiser dog, breakfast dog. Yakisoba dog? Let's have a hot dog too, why not? We killed time eating and drinking here in the alleyway, but it wasn't long before the call came through from Troy. Target has been neutralized. Good work, guys. Good work. Nice. All right, let's see what I get now. Yeah, let's go check that out. We'll see what we got. I'm kidding.
Uh, it's a simultaneous hit. Damn it, okay. So now we really were back to taking out targets two at a time for Twitch. But unlike before, we knew how the criminal rep system worked this time around. And so boarding the rabid, spirits were surprisingly high. Elevator seems to be working a lot more today. Maybe they fixed something in it. I don't know. Hopefully. Flying this thing with sticks feels pretty decent, actually, I have to admit. On Walla, the target is at Shady Glen Farms. Um, on Lyria, the target is at Shubin Processing 9. I didn't see any markers even on the map. No, no, it, it, it's a problem with these missions where the target markers don't show up until you get really close for everyone except like the person that took the mission. We are dropping down to your location now. You guys can go ahead and start engaging whatever it is. Do you know what the target is, by the way? Negative. We are 20 kilometers away, though. Now, in stark contrast to the care we were supposed to be taking, we'd forgotten one important step in this first run, shutting down the Comoray. And he's white. We will get a crime stop for this. Just a heads up, killing these targets will get us a crime stop. Just wanted to give you fear warning on that. Your call, Captain. Crime it is. Let's engage, engage. Recharging. Oh, I got crime stop. Target on our own has been destroyed. To protect the ship, we'd have to deal with the crime stat. See, anyone not got a crime stat? I don't see one, let me check. Yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing one on my okay, own. Okay, good, okay. Both Arathorn and Cyrus were clear of any crimes, and this was helpful because it meant they could just drop me in and keep the ship clear. And yeah, the last thing we want is the ship to get blown up by a player hunter. True. I may Target destroyed. My gear. Good work, guys. Good work. We're on our way to you now. We're going to go and clear your crime stat quick. And you know what? Then we will. What we'll do is we'll shut down the two comrades because then we can power through these missions a lot faster. This would, of course, require gearing up for combat within the security bunker. Roger, thank you. Roger. Roger that. Security Depot, Lyria 1. Copy. Ah, one of you. Red contacts, but it's just Troy and Polecat. Troy, Polecat and Razor were still nearby to provide additional cover. Polecat and Troy were also wanted at this point though. We are taking fire. Okay. Let me know when to drop. But the Ursa rover, it turns out, was not in great condition. Back is open, by the way. Back is already open. What the hell? The thing? Oh. Uh, well, I guess I'm dropping anyway, because I don't have any control over the Ursa. It just rolled out the back. Oh. The Ursa rover was completely dead. And to put a pin in this, we'll be seeing a lot more of Ursa's mysteriously malfunctioning in the back of a Corsair. <laughs> Look at Razor, jeez. Um. <laughs> Razor had skillfully landed the medical Pisces at the bunker in a turret blind spot. Hello, Razor. Uh, good stuff. He was to give me a crypto key for the hack. I appreciate that, Razor, thank you. No problem. Have a Right now, I need... 
is no kills. I was expecting to have to kill a few blackjack security down here, but it looks like the nine tails beat me to it. There was very little resistance. Again, it was really cool, like grabbing the armor from the drawer under the bed. It's something really fun about that. Halfway done on the hack. I knew I'd have a couple of charges to clear and that our fighter pilots, Polka and Troy, would also probably want to clear their records too when I was done. Clearing charges now, it looks like four charges. Mental incompetence. Okay, do I do if you need a crypto? Twitch has requested my presence. Same here. See, she, she already heard about the good work that you've done. 663 rounds. Okay, about half. Not bad. So, cleared of all charges, I was returning to the Rabid Raccoon to continue our work for Twitch. Elevator worked. I'm aboard. Roger, I understand. Good work, guys. Good work. Okay, I will. Take back the helm. You did a fine job. We certainly didn't want to have to be dealing with crime stats all the time, so the next move for us would be shutting down the comrades of Illyria and Walla. You want to grab the zone out of thorns since you didn't get to yep. quite finish last time? Yep, I'm good. This time I can do it. In previous videos, you've seen us do this with a small ship like the M50 or even a Dragonfly, but in the current patch, it seems the missile turrets have no ability to shoot at you when you are close to the array itself. This means that even a ship as large as the Corsair can make it in, and the only concern is the much smaller turrets on the station itself. The old blind spot between the solar panels is perfectly adequate for countering these. Arathorn was heading into the array, while Cyrus and I sat vigilantly in the nose of the ship. Come right down. But once an array is offline, anyone can turn it back on, and missions are even offered that pay players to go restore the coverage of a planet or moon. We were making our way towards Waller itself, but I'd strayed too far to get the options for surface locations, and when we hopped back towards the com array, we'd spot a player on their way towards the array. Oh, I think it's because you jumped forward into the... Oh shit, we have to kill this guy. He's gonna sh re reactivate the, the array. He's gotta be coming towards it, hey? Put some missiles on it. We're outside of range. Locking. It's inside of 10k. But due to poor piloting on my part, we were about to have a very close call. Trying to get away. Oh, 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 I think we're about to lose the ship. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just saw the car right floating by and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, solar panels. <laughs> it's like, we're dead. Port, like hard port. Yep, there he is, that's it. Go ahead, find him. Blocking missiles again. Good work, guys. Good yeah. work. So we'd eliminated the player that was going for the Comrie, and for now at least we could get back on with the next assassination. Constellation Andromedas are always particularly durable on these missions, but this target was about to set a new record. That target, it's a Connie. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's go and engage. Jesus. 
Charging. Watch it. Close range. You think you Friendly. Fuck, I almost died already. This, this is a one hell of a tough coming. Alright, target down. Bad. Uh, I fired a thousand rounds at that Connie. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> and we weren't, it's not like we weren't hitting it. Like we were, we were in range and on target. Like it, that's crazy. They're all landing. <laughs> yeah, they all landed, right? By the end of the mission, the Comrade was still down. Right, that's cool. Looks like Comrade's still down here, too. Good. At least the next target on Walla would be much more fragile a prospector. Oh, yeah. Mantis and Prospector. It looks like the Prospector is the target. Oh, yeah. Probably not using the ammo for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could just take, out, take them out with the lasers. You mine the wrong rocks, buddy. <laughs> okay, Prospect here we go. this. <laughs> Yes, but I was just a prospector. <laughs> yeah. Twitch rep is climbing. It's almost up to four bars for me, I think. Maybe it's three, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Green on green is like <laughs> not always the easiest to see. So let's give a quick overview of how the rep system seems to work. The mission giver, Twitch in this case, asks to see you and gives you a job to complete. If you do complete that mission, you then have it available at all times. And for some of them, the payout for the mission seems to increase up to a point the more you complete them. But at regular rep intervals, we think it is every two bars of rep, you will be asked to go see the mission giver again. And on these visits, you have a chance of being given a new mission type. Rep does degrade over time or if you fail a mission, but once you have reached a certain rep level and completed the mission, you always have access to that mission. Alright, Twitch is requesting my presence again. Oh, uh, that's good. You want me to take that? I think, yeah, if you take it. I've got one too. Okay, so I guess we're going back to. Okay, cool. We're gonna help Critical first, then. Yeah. Mother Shem has arrived. Yeah! That was pretty painless. Okay, yeah. now we go back to our club. So both Cyrus and I had been called back to see Twitch again, and this would be a positive sign we were making progress towards our goal. We'd not get the assignment we were looking for just yet, but steady progress up the rep ladder was being made. And on board the Rabbit, we had a chance to talk about what we'd learned during this excursion. That was a traumatic experience for all of us. Drinking and flying is, it's fun, but dangerous. It can only go up from here, you know? Just more adventures to be had. Yes. 
join us next time as we encounter a pretty huge setback but also discover that an old favourite mission is actually still working and just as good as it ever was. As always I want to thank all of you at home for watching and send out a very special thank you to all of our amazing patrons. Without these generous people none of the videos on the channel would be possible. Thank you all for your support and in this video I would like to send out a very special thank you to Jinx and James Washington who both recently became backers over on Patreon. Thank you both for your generosity. Backers like you are what make this channel possible. We'll be back with more adventures aboard the Rabid Raccoon very soon.